What's going on, family? This is uh, Mark from Marks for Marks. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful Saturday here. Um, listen, here's my belief about our lives, my life, and your life. I believe that you're going to accomplish everything that you set out to accomplish. I believe that. I believe everything we go out to do, everything that we set, every dream that we have, every goal that um, we have set in front of ourselves, we are going to accomplish that. But the first thing we have to do is acknowledge our thoughts. Everything that happens in my belief system is that if uh, every action is preceded by a thought. There is no action that we create that do, does not have a thought that preceded it. You say, well, I just got so mad I blacked out, I lost control. Yeah, well, okay. You still thought about the thing that you said before you did it because every every action is preceded by a thought. So as we have our goals here this year, as we're striving for success, I want you to ask yourself, first thing you got to ask you, you got to acknowledge what you're thinking. What are you thinking? What's your thoughts? How are you viewing things? What's your perspective of life? What's your perspective of money? What's your relationship with money? What's your relationship with school and education? What's your thought about going to the gym? What's your thought about your relationship uh, as an employee at your job? What's your thought about your relationship with your spouse or your loved one? You have to, we, we have to first acknowledge what are we thinking? When we set a goal, what's our thought process? When you go, before you wake up and you have to go to the gym, do you say, oh, dear God, I hate going to the gym. When you have to go to work, do you say, oh, I hate my job. What is your thoughts about the thing that you, that we say we want? So my question is first, we have to first acknowledge our thoughts. And then what we have to do is we have to write them down Figure what they say them, say them, say what your thoughts are. Be clear about what you're thinking. Be clear about it. Don't don't be ambiguous. Or, and listen to that own self. Be true, right? Um, it, it's so difficult to find our truth. It's so difficult because we're often times and places and positions where we have to keep on a mask all the time. We have to pretend to be things. Uh, we have to pretend to be happy. We have to pretend to be um, like everything is always perfect. The reality is everything is not perfect. The reality is you're, we're not always thinking positively. The reality is there's life that hits us and, and we're hurting. But oftentimes we have to wear a mask so much that we don't have places to take the mask off so that we can be real. And the key is can we be real with ourselves? So... First, acknowledge your thoughts. Second, write them down. Say what they are. Put them down so, so that you can see what your thoughts are. What do you think about your marriage? What do you think about your finances? What do you think about do, when you look at your bank account? Do you say, oh, dear God, money's running out. You just got paid. I got no money. And if you really want to know what you think about, listen to what you say. You, you say... Out of the out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. What does that mean? Whatever's in your heart, whatever's in your heart, your mouth will ultimately say it. Now, once we've written them down, once we got our thoughts down, we need to address each and every one of those thoughts. All right, so I think that I'm going to be broke. I, I think that I'm going to die of cancer like my uncle did. I think I won't be a good father like my father was. I think I think I think that I'm gonna get fired from my job. I think I think I think that um I'm not gonna get this house. I think that um I won't lose this weight because I I think that I might you know whatever your thoughts are, address them, deal with them, look at them, acknowledge them. Then once you do that, we need to then start Fighting those old thoughts, them old thoughts that are conscious and subconscious thoughts. And then we need to start addressing them with new thoughts. The, the question is, how do I get new thoughts? 
the way you get new thoughts is is a few ways by reading by hearing people talk like how we're conversing or I'm monologuing um, hearing people talk and by hearing yourself talk those are three ways to get new thoughts hearing someone talk or preach or motivational speaker or inspirational speaker second reading reading books that addresses those negative thoughts if that's self-help books if that's the bible or whatever those reading something to address those negative thoughts lastly speaking the words that you want to hear speaking the words that you want to see happen in your life so hey we're going to keep building we're going to keep building but what we're what we're working on right now is how do we what's the mindset that we have to have to accomplish our goals and and, and get to where we need to get to because every action that we have is preceded by a thought no matter how quick that thought might be a thought preceded action it always does hey thanks for taking this time i know this video is a little longer but i'm just trying to give us some context here um love you we are going to accomplish those goals take this time with me real quick and say i am going to accomplish all of my goals i will have all of my dreams say that with me real quick i am going to accomplish all of my goals and i will have all of my dreams and it's going to happen for you family if this video which i know it did if it helped you i know it did <laughs> he's he's cocky no i'm just confident um subscribe like share we got to grow we, we, we're going to grow this family we're, we're going to grow we're going to get bigger i want to hear what you have to say comment because your comments help me they also help other people um i think we have to move past the this video is good um how do we build on this because we're, we're we're building we're trying to we're trying to build wealth and we're trying to build uh a, a a place where we're all having high levels of success so if you're part of this marks for marks family join us in talk about it share it let's get this thing moving until next time peace love you